so Mexican people and culture, the food is amazing. I mean, it is so good. Even the simple stuff like beans and they don't really have rice all that much in, in that area. But they have black beans and they have, you know, tamales. Um, oh, tamales are so good. Um, they have so many different types of fruit. You literally can try thousands upon thousands of fruits there. Um, I've had so many exotic fruits that I've never had before. There's like, I don't even know, I would say probably about 20 different types of bananas, just bananas themselves. Um, mangoes, it's about the same. There's probably like 30 different types of mangoes you can have. Um, so the food is amazing. Um, as far as culture goes, um, there's like an amazing culture of like family-based um, everything. So the family is pretty important to most people. And so that's really awesome to see. Um, also, like music and dance, that's really fun um, to see, like especially in, in the capital of the state, you see a lot of that happening. They have just like parks in the middle of a city and it's just like a, a block big. So it's not too big, but, um, and then they just have people playing music and just people show up and dance. I mean, it's just, it's really cool. I don't know, the money I think is really cool because here in the United States, we have just like green bills. Um, all of their bills are a different color. And um, some of them are made out of plastic, which I think is really cool. Um, so it's, it's really interesting to see. It's really easy to differentiate uh, between bills because all you have to do is see a color and you know what it is. Whereas here in the United States, it's difficult, more difficult because everything's green. Um, so that's cool. I mean, the uh, actual coins of Mexico are also really cool. I collected all that stuff. That was really fun to do. Um, there's a lot of cool indigenous stuff that you can buy. So like there's masks that they make or like clothing. The clothing is like for the um, the natives, I guess you would call them, um, is really colorful. Um, there's They just do everything with color. So the women typically wear um, like a skirt that's folded a couple times in front and pinned. Um, and then the, they have like a, just like a flowery top and it's more of just like a, a square of cloth with a hole cut out in the neck and then um, holes cut out for sleeves. It's, it's really cool that like the typical dress there. Um, guys for the most part pretty much just wear whatever they want. There isn't really like a, I guess a native dressing for guys. Um, in in uh, Chapa de Corso, there actually is what they have called um, el parachico and la chapaneca. And that's really cool to see because um, they have a festival every year and the guys dress up and they have like this uh, porcelain mask or sometimes plastic. Um, and they have, they put on like this headgear that's really interesting. You can check it out, El Parachico y La Chapaneca. Um, and they have that festival every year and it's, it's supposed to celebrate like um, children. And I forget the story behind it, but it's really cool to see. Um, so even you get that influence into Tuxla as well because it's right there. As far as public transit goes, um, that's really interesting. In Tuxla, you don't really get people racing that much. It's more of buses and taxis that they have. But in, in Tapachula, they have like these shuttle things, which is more or less like a Volkswagen van. Um, and you'll get them racing sometimes. So it's kind of interesting. Nobody wears seatbelts. They don't really have seatbelts. Um, so you kind of just got to hold on and, you know, go for the ride. Um, it's really interesting when you are going to get off. You don't say, like, I, I need to get off. You, you talk in the third person. You say, like, they're getting off. And then they'll stop and let you off. So that's interesting. In Chiapas, you have the 40 dialects or so, you know, just, just over that. Um, and they have the main one, Sotzil, 
has a lot of influence in um, Mexican culture. And so you'll get like a lot of slang from that language that's mixed into to, uh, uh, Spanish. And it's kind of like here, you know, you have people who speak Spanish, but they also take English words and they mix it into Spanish. So it's kind of cool to uh, see that you have a lot of funny phrases, a lot of slang in the mission that come from that. Um, and one of the favorite things of the missionaries that we would do is there's a store that would sell these like pins that had these funny phrases on them and we'd go buy them. And that was like the, the fun thing to do on P-Day was to get permission to go do that and, and buy these pins and just collect these pins of these funny phrases. You know, there's kind of like this, I guess, camaraderie in, in between missionaries when you say them because it's just funny and it's only like specific to Chiapas and so the mission. So it's really fun just to have that because it's kind of just like your own little personal memory of um, the areas that you served in. So.